Hello, CFFs. Hello, my Christian friends and family. How are you guys doing? Um, it is Sunday night, about 8.30. Um, and I wanted to get this video done and up today. But um, as you guys know, I'm a football fan, so I was watching football. But how are you guys doing, my Christian friends and family? I hope you guys' day has been full of love, joy, peace, and all of God's goodness, happiness, all of that. It is um, currently um, kind of raining here. Today we had uh, some pretty good rain, and now it's just kind of sprinkling uh, after a week long of sunshine, cold, but sunshine and kind of warmer in the afternoons. But um, this video will go up tomorrow and uh, Monday. And so I wanted to um, set my Monday page with you guys. I know I haven't um, uploaded a video. It's because my schedule's kind of changed. I've taken on a part-time job just for a few months and so you know how it is when you introduce something new to your schedule you're just really trying to <laughs> find that balance where you can get everything done I want to get up I want to exercise I want to do my prayerful planner um, I have other things I need to kind of introduce and get done but I would have to get up at three in the morning to get all of it done. So, um, but nevertheless, um, it's just for a few months that I'm doing this and then I'll be back to my regular, uh, schedule. <laughs> I had someone, um, ask me, uh, someone that I follow, um, another channel that I follow, such a sweet lady. She says, I was starting to worry. <laughs> and I said, I'm still here. I promise you, I haven't gone anywhere. It's just trying to find that balance of doing that and, and still keeping up with everything. And trust me, it's been a big fail because I haven't uploaded a video. And so I'm just now starting to fall into the routine of things. So hopefully um, I will be doing more videos, but I wanted to prep the page for Monday and get that all prepped. Uh, I have so much to catch up on. And that's one thing about working in your journal, your planner. Don't beat yourself up if you can't get it done. It's okay. Um, because life does happen, things do come up and you can't always get to it. I have uh, a planner where I miss like two whole months in it. I'm trying to work in it and missing some pages, but don't beat yourself up. It's you do it at your pace. And I had to learn that. So really, how are you guys? How have you been? I've been good, um, as I said, just introducing something new to my schedule, and it just really, it has thrown me off. Um, so thank God it's just for a few months, and then I'll be back um, on track doing what I'm doing. Um, today, I'm just going to do something really simple, and I'm going to be working out of Live Love Posh uh, Pink Blooms. I have um, ordered uh, some other sticker books, and so I will be unboxing that for you guys when it arrives. And um, what else is going on? I think that's, that's about it. Just trying to keep up with things. How was your service today? Hopefully you were able to attend your service your place of worship. I We had a really great time. We talked in the book of Joel chapter 2 about renewing and God renewing and restoring. And you know, sometimes the enemy comes in and he tries to take away everything. 
and he tries to destroy. That's his job, to steal, kill, and destroy. And so he will come in and try to take away everything. But the prophet Joel was telling the people that if they realized, because they had been doing things they should not have done, and Joel just told them that if you uh, have sinned, you know, repent, come to God humbly and repent. Sometimes it's real, you know, hard for certain people to say, forgive me, or to say, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. And so, um, Joel reminds everyone that um, if they come before the Lord to, um, I don't know, I like these. What do you guys think? As I said, I wanted to do something really simple. Joel reminds the people that if they come to the Lord to um, come to the Lord and be humble and repent, and then God would restore the years that the locusts and the canker worm, the palmer worm, I can't remember all the little insects. <laughs> but he would restore. And so I was thinking about that on this Sunday because, you know, I always say Sunday is renew, refuel, and restore because we go through so much during the week that um, it, it really is, Sunday really is the day to, I want to take this out, take this little, Part out. Hopefully, I got one that's going to work. Sunday really is the day to go to church and just refuel and and just enjoy the presence of the Lord, to be around your other fellow Christians and um, hear of their testimonies and hear of their uh, blessings and everything and just. Um, it's encouraging, you know, we're helpers one of another. And so it's always good to um, spend time with other uh, believers. And so, yeah, it's, um, it's like so great. I don't know if I want to try to take these corners up, but I'm going to try. <laughs> It's so great to um, spend time with other believers. And you could be down, but when you go to a church service, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm telling you, it's uplifting. It can uplift you. And just to hear other people's testimonies and to hear how God has blessed them during the week and listening to different praise reports Praise reports, if you're not familiar, is when God has opened the door of blessings. And I must say, I have to thank every, each and every one that prayed for my husband, who I said was going for uh, surgery. He, had been, he has been suffering with cancer of the vocal cords, um, went through radiation and all that, and then... Um, a couple of, I'd say a month ago, they found another growth on his vocal cords. And so we were just really praying. It wasn't going to be anything major. They were just going to uh, laser it out because they didn't feel like it was anything big, but they felt like it might have been hindering his voice. And so he went in to have that taken care of. And I tell you, God is so great. He's so wonderful. What, whatever the growth was, it was not there when the doctor went in. They had numbed him up, got him all ready to zap him. And the doctor says, I can't find it. Hallelujah. Uh, that just lets you know the goodness of God and that God had did his own surgery. So, Yay. <laughs> so 
we're really pleased and happy about that. And so thank you all for all of your prayers and um, those that uh, inboxed me and said we're praying for them and those that were so kind when I inboxed them back and said, yeah, he, he didn't need it. He, they couldn't find it. <laughs> and so praise report. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we um we go through so much during the week and sometimes the week can be stressful sometimes i think i cut that a little bit too far over but nevertheless um the week can beat us up at times really uh, we have so much to do. We have so much to take care of. So many things on our plate. And we're trying to get them all done. And sometimes the week can just be overwhelming. And you find yourself, um, you know, either stressed or very, very tired. Or feeling like, you know, I'm defeated. And so when Sunday comes, that should be a day of renewal. That should be a day of refreshing um, where we go in and we praise God and we thank him for all the things that he's doing. Um, that's what Sunday is all about for me. Um, I can't speak for everyone, but for me, that's what Sunday is all about. It's a day to just really stop and give God praise and thanks and then go to the altar and ask the Lord to renew our strength for the coming week, you know, because the, there's a new week coming and we want to be able to face each day of the week with joy and happiness and not drag into our coming week the letdowns, the disappointments, the failures, or whatever the case may be, drag that along with you. So we go to the altar and we leave those things there or in your prayer room, your prayer closet, and you leave those things there. You give them to the Lord and you say, Lord, you know what? I can't handle it. It's yours. I'm placing this on your shoulders because your shoulders can handle it where mine cannot. Amen. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we go to the Lord in prayer and we leave everything that um, has weighed us down um, for the week or for the month. Or I just say week because, you know, we all have those weeks where there's just some things that you know, you just kind of wonder, like, how did I make it through this week? <laughs> oh, so, yeah. That's kind of how I look at it. But anyway, I know this was not going to be a long video. As I said, I have an early morning uh, Monday, but this video will go up tomorrow morning, Monday. And um, I have a video that I am doing, and it's for, um, it's for, uh, let me think, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, I'm doing a video that's going to be coming up soon, and it's like how to choose your planners. So stay tuned for that, guys. I'm excited about that. I have a list of things. Of, this is just for me, and, and it might not be for everyone, but how you choose your planner and, you know, um, how you just the choices that you make. And trust me, it, I went through several planners before I found one that I really, really liked. And I'm not going to go into all of that. You guys will see it in the video. So stay tuned. I promise you it is coming up. And I want to share with you guys how I think um, choosing a planner goes. 
and I can't wait to share that with you guys and let it give you some tips on how to choose a planner and um, if you haven't ever used a planner or you're thinking about using a planner and you think you you might want to I don't know if I want to put that there let me wait um, I think I need another bigger part. <laughs> I think that's a little bit too small. It doesn't match. But um, if you're thinking about starting to use a planner or a journal, I want to share with you how I chose mine and um, how you can choose yours. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to be posting that here shortly once I critique a few things and make sure I hit on every point I'm gonna put that video up so you guys can see it and I hope you will enjoy it but um, yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing and I hope you guys will stay tuned to see that video but in any case this is all I'm going to do tonight, guys, I am really tired. I'm ready to lay myself down. <laughs> I hope your day has been blessed. I really do. I hope you guys have a beautiful week ahead. I hope that you will have love, joy, peace, and all of God's goodness in your day. This is all I'm doing for tomorrow. This is my Monday page. And that's Motivation Monday. Hey, and my motivation is remember Joel. Remember Joel chapter 2. And how God promises to restore the years that the locusts and the caterpillar cat. I can't speak. <laughs> that lets you know I'm tired. Caterpillar and locusts, grasshoppers, all those things came and destroyed their crops. And now God is promising in the book of Joel to renew and restore and replenish their land. And so I say to each and every one of you, never ever accept defeat. Know that God is on your side. He will restore. He will renew. He will rejuvenate. He will replace what the enemy meant for bad. He will replace for good. If you just stand strong and believe and have faith, I know that God will work it out. And he will work it out for your good. Amen. Amen. So that's it for me. Remember Find three good things in your day. Focus on that. Write it in your journal. Put it in your planner. Write it on a piece of paper. Put it on the wall where you can see it. And remind yourself, there was three good things in my day. And so if, um, I forgot to say this, if you are brand new to this channel, this is your first time here, I hope you will consider subscribing. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you notify each and every time I upload a video. And if you're brand new, welcome. I thank you. I really do. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for being a part of the CFF family. And if you've been here for a while, I love you guys. I really do. Thank you for all your comments your upbeat comments, your positive comments, and just thanks for checking in on me. I appreciate that. I really do. So until next time, find those three good things in your day, something that puts a smile on your face, joy, a warmth in your heart, and joy to your soul. Focus on that. So until next time, bye guys.